the interview. <coughs> was it question for, for Evan? <coughs> Yeah, most definitely. So um, we kind of knew going into the game, they run that 3-3 uh, three, three stack offense with they drop five DBs, or they always have five DBs on the field. So we knew that the in, any kind of inside zone or any kind of ca- counter or gap scheme plays were going to work. We're going to get our yards there. We know that throwing was going to be kind of hard this week. So we, uh, we focused on running the ball, and we knew we'd get our yards. So is that <coughs> What was the question again? Sorry. Is that exciting for an O line knowing that the run game is going to be such a focus on it? Almost definitely. I mean, as an O lineman, if you don't love running the ball, I mean, you're probably in the wrong position because that's our time to kind of, you know, grind against the D lineman and really put in the work for it. So, yeah, it's obviously a, a good excitement knowing that kind of like the way the game goes is how it always is, but the way the game's going to go is how we do. So. So yeah, I'll, I'll start just kind of by position. So I know I'll, I'll start at left guard at Nick. He played all last season with us. He uh, he played left left tackle last year because, uh, as you all know, Chad Chad Blood has hurt his knee um, the end of camp last year. So I've definitely seen him develop position. I think he uh, slid into guard this year and has done a great job so far for us. Uh, at tackle, I mean, you know what we had with Chad not last year but the year before that. He played nine or ten games. And I mean, did just phenomenal. So we knew what we had with him with getting him back was just. Just good, great for our team, and then to the right side we got we got some younger guys in Tadora and Bryce, and then grad transfer with Will. Um, I think they've done a great job learning their positions, uh, fitting into the roles that they're fitting in now, and you know just kind of learning every week as they go. So getting good game experience. It's definitely so. Uh, I think his coaching styles evolved most with kind of the culture he's built around the program. Um, from day one, he's laid the foundation of our culture is going to be this with all our core principles. And he's been every day they, they build those up in us. They run their program. Everything they do is about those. And I think that's the biggest thing I've noticed over the three years I've been here. It was definitely so. Um, yeah, Demerick. Demerick's a great player. I mean, a true freshman last year that he was and played significantly for us. Uh, I've definitely seen over that past year him grow a lot with his maturity and his leadership on the team. He's on our leadership council that we have, and I think that's great for him. Um, I've seen his uh, pass blocking ability, his just moves in general, growing as from I me mean, from a high school player just to college. You're going to learn a lot, especially with experience. So I mean, I've just seen a great deal out of him, which is great to see. Um, not really. I mean, with any of those guys back there that we really have, I mean, we know we're going to get out of them hard running. Some of them were Freeman's more of a bigger guy, not not as fast as like Xavier or Braden, but I mean, he's going to run hard straight downhill. I mean, so we don't really adjust our run scheme per se to the running back, but whoever's in there, I mean, you know, you know what you're going to get. That's that's a stable back there, great athletes. So. So goal, I think, for our team, I mean, is honestly just giving your best, giving our, which is our, the best is our standard. So I think that's going to be a goal for us. Um, obviously, improving over last year, a big goal for us. I mean, for what we, what we feel is being competitive and hopefully competing for a conference championship and absolutely a bowl game. So. Anything else for Evan? Okay, thanks a lot. Sounds good. Thank you.